Oh, she's, she's miserable out there. I, uh, I was on a tree job the other day, and uh, I found a uh, found one of these. Yeah, double headed, double bitted. Add to my collection. Needs a major restoration. Check it out. She's pitted like crazy, but I'm not too worried about it because, and it's been somebody's really, really. Uh, done in a number so and they put a single bit handle on it so and they've actually put the head on upside down by the looks of it to me yeah anyhow I'm gonna uh, start it on on this restoration here I was almost thinking if I could bang the head off instead of uh, I don't know I don't know I'll go back see to the old method. Wow be neat to find a maker's uh, maker's mark or something on there, wouldn't it? Might be not a bad splitting axe, neither. The heads look the same, you know. So, just warming up the mercury over there. <sighs> Let's see what we got here. got some weight to it I know that very good maybe I can use that for no it's crap garbage yeah I don't know what he's done here I think he's actually I think I see the problem he's gone on he's put it on upside down where did I put my hammer That's what it looks like to me. Oh, sure he has. Hey. Yeah, this my little pounder. Yeah, I got one of these things here. I sacrificed one of these. Oh yeah, looks good. Looks good. Well, that's exactly what they did. That is exactly what they did. They put that on upside down. I can almost guarantee that. Yeah, that goes on like that, not like that. <laughs> they had it on upside down, eh? You know? So let's get out the, this will be interesting. It's actually got nice weight to it, really nice weight. But it does have quite a bit of pitting. See, quite a bit of pitting. One end, there's not a bad edge there, but it's been hit, like, like I can see. That's where I smacked it, but I'll clean up all that. I just thought if it would pop off on four or five or maybe 10 hits, I'd go for it. But as you can see, the other side's actually not even that, <laughs> better <laughs> you know what I mean okay well let's uh I think I had a wire wheel I just want to see I want to see what we get here I guess I should probably I gotta get my little C&I glasses out here some oh there they are there they are. where's my there it is. Let's see this thing here. This has got lots of power. Okay. Well. Oh, it might be a Sager. It actually might be a Sager. It's got that. Uh... Isn't that interesting? Looks like it might even be a little bit bent. Oh, well, maybe not. But it's so pitted, but it's got that finish on it. Remember that finish? Sager had that, that metal 
finish. So this might be a Sager. But there's a lot of pitting on there. So I just wanted to break down into it slowly and see if we could catch any uh, maker's marks. But I, I don't I don't think we're going to get lucky on this one. You know what I mean? I just don't, I don't see it happening. But, wow. Hi, Chester. Come on, bud. Come on. I think I'm going to have to get out the grinder and, uh, and start hitting this thing kind of harder. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Unless I've got, what do I got here for a wheel? Thought I might have something for that big grinder. But the, the nice thing is, is my grinder's right upstairs. Unless, yeah. So I'll go get the grinder and we'll start uh, having a poke at this a little harder intently. Talk to you in a few minutes.